giant cyclone prawns. Seriously, that's exactly what's going on in this video. With Cyclone Lincoln right on our doorstep, it's not exactly the nicest weather to take the boat out fishing. But I've heard a few little rumours getting around camp here at King Ash Bay Fishing Club. The hot tip is that there are a few cherubin getting around. What's a cherubin? It's a giant freshwater prawn. We only ever see them around here at this time of year, during the wet season, when the floodwaters from upstream have come down and made all the water down here at King Ash Bay 100% fresh. My name's Mikey Cunningham, and let's go put some pots in the water to try and catch some of these giant freshwater river prawns. Well, it is a little bit damp out there, but that's not gonna stop us, not today. We're gonna go out and try and catch some giant freshwater prawns, also known as cherubin. Oh, March fly, bastard. All right, got me a little bag of goodies here. Got three pots. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, well, first thing you'll notice is how green everything is at this time of year at King Ash Bay. So the reason I'm not going fishing in the boat today is because there is a tropical low. Oh, a tropical low out in the Gulf, which has the potential to develop into a cyclone. Only a 40% chance, they reckon, but yeah, a bit windy. So here's my bag of goodies. So I've got an idea for three different types of bait. I was uh, looking online today uh, what to use for cherubin. Some people said cheese. So I've literally got, got the tasty cheese there. I think it was out of date from the fridge anyway. And I've uh, cut a hole through there. I'm just gonna cable tie this whole thing in. Someone said to use potatoes. So I'm literally gonna chuck a potato in, drill a few holes in it. And then third and finally, we have the old corned beef. I'm hoping to find a clear winner. I'm gonna put all three pots here at Bullfrog's Jetty, leave them overnight, check them in the morning and hopefully we get a clear winner. One of the baits hopefully will have several cherubin in it. Anyway, wish me luck and uh, yeah, let's get them in the water. Potato's good to go. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, don't ya? <laughs> just a potato. I'm just gonna literally drop it in some fairly shallow water right, all right, right there, eh? Right there. Okay, cheese is secured. Oh, that smells ever so unpleasant. <laughs> All the way through, put a cable tie through that. <laughs> Another suggestion was cat food. Uh, I can assure you that this smells exactly like cat food, <laughs> this corned beef. Okay, corned beef is in. Number one tied up there, number two tied up there, number three tied up down there, and that's it. I'm actually quite optimistic about this. I'm hoping to get, oh, three would be awesome. Three big cherubin tomorrow morning. There is always the danger that the river could rise during the night and I won't be able to get to my pots, but uh, that hasn't sort of been forecast at this stage. There's uh, river height markers a lot further up, upstream, and they haven't sort of spiked yet. So we're at least a couple of days away from the river rising. So yeah, that's it. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, things have sort of developed a bit overnight. It's a tad on the windy side now. There's uh, wind gusts of up to 70 kilometers an hour. I think we need to get sort of over 100 kilometers an hour before they'll uh, actually call it a cyclone. Yeah, over 100 kilometers an hour, I think is a category one, somewhere around that mark. We have a bit more of a water hazard this morning. I might walk around this way. Oh, and I've had a blowout. 
Oh, not a good start to the day. Not a good start to the day. Yeah, it's a little bit windy, but the uh, looks like the water level hasn't come up overnight, which is a good thing. All my pots, I can still see the strings on them. I think we're getting gusts of over 70 kilometres an hour at the moment. This, this isn't a category one, this is just below that. It's, it's just a little bit of a windy day. <laughs> Got me esky. Which means I'm optimistic that we might actually catch a bloody cherubin or two. And do my absolute best not to fall in the water here. Okay, let's start right here. I can't remember what bait was in this one. Oh, we got a prawn. As you know, we're after giant river prawns, or also known as cherubin. Is that a prawn or a cherubin? I think it might be a baby cherubin. Yeah, it's just a little baby. Yeah, that's not really much of a feat. Oh yeah, it's definitely a cherubin. It's got the little tiny claws there. Ah, he's nipping me. <laughs> Go on, mate, you can nip me all you want. Okay, radio. so. I might just chuck that straight back in. And I might throw this little fella back as well. It's not really what we're after. <laughs> Come on, bullfrog. Oh, we got a monster. Oh, that's what we're here for. That's the corned beef. We got a monster. Oh my goodness. Oh, big flick. Don't drop him. He's gonna try and nip me, eh? If I do that, he won't be able to push those all right, we'll just, uh... oh, that corned beef stinks. All right, the pot's back in the water. I just need to stand right on the edge of this bloody jetty because there's no pole down the middle. If I stand in the middle, it'll just snap. <laughs> oh, would you take a look at that? I'm holding on fairly tight. I'll give you a better look in a minute. Just don't want to drop it. You can see they've got these really long claws. That one's a bit bigger, that one there. Probably tickle a little bit if you got you with them. Straight into my esky there. Oh, that's exciting, okay. So corned beef. Okay, so we've done the cheese, we've done the corned beef. This is the potato. This one had smaller holes in it. Oh yeah, nothing on the potato, eh? Nothing on the potato. I was messaging me old man yesterday or last night after I told him I put the pots in. He said that he used to uh, parboil the potato first, which I did not do. We'll chuck it back just in case. <laughs> All right, so we've got th three pots in still. We caught two cherubin, one little tiny one and one absolute stonker. Absolute stonker. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 whoa, you bastard. <laughs> All right, so they don't break the skin, but <laughs> he got me. Oh, it didn't tickle. Did not tickle. Oh, dude, he's huge. Oh, right, those claws can bloody get right around there. Yeah, this thing doesn't look that big because my hands are so massive. He's a big fella. We'll see what happens with this wind. See how the day progresses and uh, we'll come back and check these pots again this afternoon. Probably need two more decent sized cherubins to actually make a feed out of them. 
Cherubin go by different names in different countries, but they can be found in Northern Australia, through Southeast Asia, and as far as India. In a recent podcast we did, Trent from Rod and Rifle and Catherine referred to these things as a dinner bell for Barramundi. But I'm not gonna use this guy as bait. Tonight he's gonna be swimming in a creamy garlic sauce on top of my steak. So stick around for that later in the video. Up next, we've got some unexpected news about this tropical low pressure system. 3.22 p.m. And we've got some very unexpected news. I don't I think this has come by surprise for everyone around here. This tropical lower has actually developed into a cyclone. We have uh, tropical cyclone Lincoln, the Abraham of cyclones. You know what they say, when the cyclone's named Lincoln, <laughs> That's when we start drinking. Oh, I've been working on that for the last 40 minutes. Um, haven't seen any other humans in three days, so I'm gonna go see if the mad mullet's home. Go and knock on his door, I'm sure he'll be home. Well, it wasn't home, but our mate Auntie's. Here he is. Hey! <laughs> it's a boy. Lincoln. Yes. It doesn't look very cyclone though, does it? No, not at all, mate. Looks like a wet day to me. Yeah. We've got time for a quick yarn and a cold one before going to check the pots one last time for Cherubin. Or now I can officially call them Giant Cyclone Pawns. It's raining a fair amount harder now. It's starting to look a little bit more cyclone-y. Going up, that froggy. Nothing. All right. The cheese is a fail. Come on. No. Corn beef is a fail. Tab damp. Oh. Come on, potato. Oh my god, there's one in there. The potato got one. The potato got one. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that. It's just a fraction smaller than the one we got this morning. But the potato got one. I cannot believe it. Alright, let's go up and get out of the rain. Oh, the potato for the win. Who would have thought? I was going to convert all the pots to uh, the corned beef. But I can't believe that I got one on the potato. Yeah, well, these claws are a lot shorter than the one this morning, but the body's still pretty big. Oh, a little bit wet. <laughs> oh, goodness me. This is what we do for dinner, folks. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty excited. We're going to have reef and beef. I was just up at the servo collecting some more bait, which was uh, some more, I was going to use more tins of that uh, corned beef. But um, yeah, the potato works. So who knows what I'll try next. But uh, yeah, so I bought some scotch fillet, so rib fillet, cube roll. Bought some nice steak when I was at the servo just a minute ago. And now I've got two of those big freshwater prawns to cook up with it as the topper. Creamy garlic sauce. It's going to be reef and beef, surf and turf. Well, there they are. They're my toppers. Going to use the burners here to cook some uh, steak out here. There they are, all prepped up. Couple of little scotchies. And there's my topper ready to go. So I'll cook the steak first. Mine very rare, so this is not going to take long. Steaks look amazing, they're coming off to rest. And these are going to go straight in. So, literally, cream and fresh chopped garlic in here.
can hear the rain in the background. We've actually started getting thunder now. <laughs> Call it what you like, reef and beef, surf and turf. All I can tell you is it's a great feed to wait out a cyclone. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Tropical cyclone Lincoln caused some heavy winds and rain overnight. But as you can see from these drone shots the following morning, King Ash Bay is still standing with very minimal damage around the camp. If you're new around here and enjoyed the video, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button. And if you've been following my videos for a while, you might like to check out some of my merch. It's what keeps this channel going. My wife packs all the orders in Darwin while I'm down here in the Gulf trying to make more and more videos for you guys to enjoy. I'm Mikey Cunningham. Thanks everyone for the support. Thanks for watching to the end of the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.